In our previous videos, we have engaged the Google Location Service with our Android application. In this video, we're going to activate this pause button, which is going to allow us to unsubscribe and resubscribe with Location Service at a time of our choosing. So a couple things we're going to want to look at. First of all, let's take a look at our layout. Our layout contains this button. It's GPS Supplant. And I click, I can zoom up a little bit here, but you see I click the button. And the button has an on click attribute. And the value is BTN pause clicked. So I'm going to remember that BTN pause clicked because that's special. That has a special meaning to us. I go to the GPS Supplant. And I see I have a method that I made in a previous video called BTN pause clicked. So what I'm going to want to do here is a couple things. First of all, if we click pause, I'm going to want to uh, invoke the same logic that we have in the on pause lifecycle method. But no need to duplicate things. What I can do is simply right click on this method, say refactor, and then say extract, and then say method. And for this method, uh, okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this entire line here. Extract method, and I'm going to say pause GPS. Okay. Notice that the on pause lifecycle method has been changed. It's now invoking a new method called pause GPS. The reason why I want to do that is I want to call this pause GPS both from the lifecycle method and also from that pause button that I have earlier. So I choose pause GPS. I'll go ahead and leave the toast in for now. Now, there's a trick, though. What if I want to unpause it? Well, this button's going to serve two purposes. Remember, we don't want to clutter the screen, so the button's going to serve a couple of purposes. I'm going to make a new Boolean value. I'm going to say paused equals true. Now, it doesn't know what paused is because I just made that up. So I'm going to, it's redlining. I'm going to put my cursor on it, choose Alt-Enter, and create field. Sure enough, I want it to be a Boolean. We'll default it to false. Okay. So I'll go back down to my uh, BTN pause clicked, and I'm going to say if paused equal equal, because remember in Java we use double equal for comparison. If paused equals, then we're going to pause GPS, and we're going to say paused equals true. That means the next time the button is clicked, paused is going to have to be true. I could say else if paused equal equal true. And then in here I could do some more logic. But to be honest with you, a Boolean can only be false or true. So I can shorten this if I want because it can only be in one of those two states. I can shorten it to if paused equals false, then pause GPS paused must be true. We want to start GPS. Okay, a little more to come on this else block. Uh, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the on resume and I'm going to highlight the logic I want to move into a separate method. Right click, refactor, uh, extract, and then method. And we'll say resume GPS and OK. Okay. Once again, we're just refactoring the logic that's already happening in one of our lifecycle methods. And when I say lifecycle, you might remember uh, this diagram that we've looked at earlier, the state of events that an Android activity goes through on create, on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, on destroy. So on resume means we're about to be shown. On pause means we're about to go away. In a previous video, we created these methods to subscribe and unsubscribe from GPS. So now resume GPS, that gives me enough information to go back to the if test that I made and handle the else part. So else, I'll put a comment that says we are paused, we want to unpause. Uh, and as a matter of fact, let me clarify this up above and say we are unpaused, we want to pause. Okay. Now I'm going to say in the else part, I'm going to say resume GPS, and I'm going to say pause equals false. 
Now, normally I would leave it at that. Uh, I am going to do, because there's no visual indication, I am going to uh, move the toast and duplicate it in here, and I'm just going to say paused and resumed so that we know that we're switching back between paused and resumed. One other thing. We don't really want to leave that label at pause GPS, do we? We should have like pause GPS, start GPS, or pause GPS, resume GPS. Okay, so let's get a handle to this button. I'm going to use our friend find view by ID. Just a moment. Whoops. Okay, go to the on create method. Say find view by ID, but whoa, wait a minute. Before I do that, what are we trying to find? We need to find the name of the button, or rather the ID of the button. The ID is BTN pause. Remember that, BTN pause. Okay, back to GPS to plan. Now I'm going to say find view by ID dot BTN pause. You might remember we did something very similar in a video just a few moments ago. You'll see above. Control-Alt-F will assign this to a field. We'll call it BTN pause. It assigns it to a very generic type called view. We're going to change that to button. Button gives us uh, everything we do. But additionally, it also gives us uh, things that are specific to a button. As soon as I do that, I get a red line down below on what we're going to call the assignment statement. Fixing that is easy. I just put my cursor on it, hold Alt, press Enter, and choose Cast. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is in the resume, I'm going to change the label on the button. So, BTN pause, and I'm going to say set text, okay, and I'll say resume GPS, okay. Uh, now, what if I click pause and then resume and then pause again? I need to reset the button text back to pause. Oh, actually, no, I put this in the wrong place, come to think of it. Change the label on the button. Uh, if it's paused, we want to set the label to resume. If it's resume, we want to set it back to pause. So, okay, I put it in the wrong place, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to use a little trick here. We already have a label that says pause GPS. And that label is already in a file called strings.xml. So if we take a look here, you see this pause GPS? Okay. Well, we want to keep all of our text in strings.xml because it's language specific. So this is an English file. We could easily make uh, Hindi, Spanish, French, German, whatever you want. But we want to keep all our strings in a language specific file. So I'm going to copy LBL pause. And I'm going to change it to LBL resume. And I'm going to change pause GPS and the resume. Change it to resume GPS and save. So LBL pause and LBL resume. Now I'm going to go back to GPS a plant. And instead of hard coding in resume GPS, we know that's a no-no. We know we're not allowed to do that. Uh, I'm going to use a little trick here. I'm going to say get string. And then I'm going to say R dot string dot lbl let's see this is the resume state so lbl pause up above instead of resume gps i'm going to say r dot string dot lbl resume okay now here's what's nice about that i'm not specifying the text to show in that label i'm simply saying go to strings xml find lbl pause and return the text that corresponds with that. Find LBL resume, return the text that corresponds with that. If I want to support different languages, all I need to do is make another folder here that says values-es for Spanish or values-fr for French. And then I need to duplicate this strings XML and I simply need to translate this one file. That's much easier than having to go into code where we have English hard-coded and translate the individual entries in there. That would take an enormous amount of time compared to simply translating one file. And by the way, language support is automatic. If you go to settings 
and you choose a different language, the Android operating system automatically knows to look at values-es for Spanish and values-fr for French. That's built in. All you, the developer, has to do is use this strings XML. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and choose debug, and uh, we'll give it just a moment to raise up our revised version in the emulator. Now the emulator has loaded, and let's take a look. I click on pause GPS. We're going to see our toast comes up, and you see it switches to resume GPS. The reason is, right now the GPS has been paused. And so the only thing we can do to a pause GPS is resume it. So I click resume, which resubscribes. Re we see our toast comes up, and the label changes again. And we know, because we've done this refactoring, and we've told it to pause GPS and resume GPS, that's going to give us an opportunity to pause the GPS and basically freeze that latitude and longitude at a point in time uh, and, then, uh, and then restart it later. In, in the live app, this is something that I do use occasionally. Uh, if I want to save a GPS location and maybe I need to take several pictures or do some additional research, uh, this has worked out well for me. So, we saw how to subscribe and unsubscribe from GPS, and we also saw how to use strings.xml to show a label. Thank you.